Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Harris from TheUrbanGeek.com. How's it going? Uh, everybody else is doing this, so I figured I'd show my experience with holding uh, the phone with the left antenna being uh, held down and trying to drop some bars. Now, uh, I can guarantee that if I do do this, I am going to drop bars, uh, but the funny thing is that it only happens inside of my apartment. When I go to work every day, uh, I cannot replicate dropping bars for anything. I cannot do it. It will not work. Uh, so, which leads me to believe that it's actually something to do with towers and the phone having some kind of complications as well. So I'm not sure if a software update can fix that, but uh, hopefully it does. Um, anyway, so let's get into the demonstration here. You'll see that I'm going to hold down the phone with the Samurai Death Grip is what I call it. And let's see what happens. Will I start dropping bars? Yep. Drop one. Drop down to three. Dropping, dropping down to two, dropping, dropping, maybe two is where it'll stop. So it looks like I got down to two bars there. You'll see I'm using the Samurai Death Grip, and uh, let's release that. Oh, actually I released and it went down to one, which is interesting, but it should jump right back up now that I'm not holding the left edge. Yep, jumping up, jumping up. And once again, going back up again. Okay, so let's try a phone call with this. Uh, let's do this guy right here. This is actually my business line. You guys can give me a call there if you'd like. Let's see what happens. So this call is active, and you can hear me in the background. I'm going to try to do my best to make this phone call drop. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Let's give this uh, about a good 45 seconds or so. And as you can see, the phone call never dropped. Uh, I tried to do it the best I could, and it never dropped. So uh, as, many, as many people that are complaining about phone calls dropping, uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Now, we do see some cases where the speed of data will, uh, will decrease and diminish. So let's do that test really quick. So I am not using the Samurai Death Grip. I'm sorry for this being a little bit blurry here. I'm not using the Samurai Death Grip, and I'm going to begin my test. Begin test. Oh, that's not fair. I have Wi Fi on. Let me turn Wi Fi off really quickly. Wi Fi is going off. Okay. So let's try this again. Speed test. And once again, I uh, do not have the left antenna suppressed, begin test. It's going for it, it's going for it. Okay, it's a pretty that's a pretty slow one. I've seen a lot faster. I've been up in the twelve hundreds before. Uh but maybe it's just a little connection I have here. Alright, so let's try the upload. Come on upload. That's much, much faster. Okay. Let's try it one more time without the, the grip. Test again. There we go. Those are the speeds I like. 1400, 1500. That's good. That's really good for up. And soon, uh, upload. I mean, that's really good for down. Soon, uploading should kick in. And it's looking like uploading is uh, at a moderate speed right there. That's nice. All right. So let's try with the Samurai Death Grip. <laughs> All right. So let's drop some bars here and hit test. What happens? It won't even start up. Okay, we're starting up, starting up. And it's looking like we're in a 300 range for down. And let's try uploading. Come on, see what happens. 
and uploading is going to a snail's pace right now, which is kind of disappointing. So uh, it is, I think, a mixture of software, um, maybe hardware, and the antennas or the towers that are around your area. Like I said before, I cannot replicate this for anything within my uh, within my job, within my office, and uh, I'm about two miles away from uh, from my office right now. So maybe there's some stronger towers around that area. Overall, I hope Apple can come up with a fix for this because it does seem to be an apparent problem. And uh, I will give you further updates as soon as Apple releases some kind of statement or a further statement or a fix for this. So uh, once again, this is Brandon from TheUrbanGeek.com, and you guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.